Assalamu alaikum dear friends. I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifal Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So today in this video we will discuss 10 questions and their answer. Some questions are about the concrete and some mostly questions are about the artwork. So let's start our video. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friend. These questions are helpful for a KV engineer, KV QC engineer and site engineer. So our first question is why the concrete cylinders are crushed after seven days, not for other days like why we need seven days for to check the uh, concrete slender crushing strength answer slender are crushed after seven days to determine the strength gain or development of concrete result should not be less than 75 percent of the specified strength at 28 days the strength of the seven days of concrete should be not less than 75 percent of the strength after 28 days then it is tested after 28 days because this is the estimated 100 percent strength development of the concrete so the from here one thing we need that the cr uh, compressive strength of the concrete after seven days will be 75 percent of the strength which will be get we after the 28 days question number second how you will check settlement of foundation putting if one is in a rock and the other foundation are putting is in the soil answer the foundation the foundation which we have are putting which we have in the rock for that we will take cores and the foundation which we have in the soil we will check it by the standard penetration test SPT the settlement of the foundation will be checked if it is in rock so we will take cores if it is in soil so we will do it by the standard penetration test SPT question number third what is SPT standard penetration test this is the test which is carried out to know the bearing capa capacity up soil standard pen penetration test is carried out to know the bearing capacity of the soil question number four if cracks appear on subgrade how you will rectify it if you are doing the compaction for the subgrade and you see any kind of um, cracks so how you will rectify the answer if cracks appear on subgrade it means clay content are more in the material so it can be rectified by scarifying and adding more coarser material and then we will recompact it question number five what is a1 a a1b and a2 pore material how you will distinguish a2 pore material a1a a1 B and A2 dumped on site. These all are the classes of soil, are the filling material. So if you receive A1 A, A1 B or A2 pore, how you will distinguish between these class of material? So answer is A1 A, A1 B is a mixture of stone, fragments, gravel and sand. Whereas A2 pore is a mixture of silty are clay gravel and sand a1a and a1b material is cursor than a2 pore material so these are the differences between a1a and a1b are a2 pore material by these differences you will distinguish this material question number six what type of cement you will use for underground concrete underground concrete are the concrete which have contact with the soil for that 
concrete we will use the cement type pipe cement or sulfate resistant cement SRC sulfate resistant cement will be used for the concrete which have a contact with the soil question number seven which type of material you will use for back peeling for a structure so mostly under the foundation or near the foundation for any uh, structures we are using A1A or A1B material and also A2 pore and no rock fragments more than 8 cm and all the material are in a special A2 pore the fragments of rock will be not more than 8 cm question number 8 why we are doing the bitumen paint on structure mostly the simple answer is we are doing bitumen paint to make the dam proofing but the proper answer is providing protective coating up to existing concrete structure by doing bitumen paint we are providing the protective coating to the existing concrete structure protective coating shall be used to improve the durability of concrete by protecting it from the De degradation by chemicals or water and subsequent loss of structure and integrity. So these are the benefits of bitumen paint on structure. Question number now, 9. Can we use sand for subgrade? Answer. Sand cannot be used for subgrade because why we cannot use sand for a subgrade? So the reason are here. Poor load sustain, sus, uh, sustaining quality highly permeable compressible under sustained load subject to change in strength and volume due to variation in water content so it means that you cannot use sand for the subgrade why because it's poor in load sustaining quality high highly permeable compressible under sustained load subject to change in strength and volume due to variation in water content the last question what are the ASTM rep uh, references number for slump test and compressive strength of test of concrete for compressive strength test ASTM C39 or C39 slash M and for slump test reference number is e ASTM C143 so guys from now all the interview question and answer I will try to upload videos in PowerPoint slides because from this video you can take the screenshot and you can save it in your mobile for the study but if you are new here so please subscribe to our YouTube channel like the video and share it with your friend and here we will share videos about jobs tips for engineer life of civil engineers of the Arabia 